Hey, what's up everyone? After a two week wait, Apple has finally dropped iOS 18.1 Beta 6, and along with it, iOS 18.1 Public Beta 3 is out too. So the big question is, should you go ahead and download it? Let's kick things off with the new features. First up, AirDrop has its own dedicated toggle now, which makes it easier to access. If you've got the Measure app installed, there's a new measure and level toggle that's been added to the control center. And if your iPhone supports satellite connectivity, you'll notice the satellite toggle has also been separated. Another minor update is in the phone dialer. If you're using dual SIMs, the primary SIM now shows up in blue. When you tap it, you'll see a new option for business lines great for keeping things organized if you've got work and personal lines on the same phone. Oh, and check out the new notification center feature. You'll now see a notification badge showing the number of unread notifications. It's a small touch, but it gives your iPhone a premium feel. Now let's talk bugs. Unfortunately, this update isn't all smooth sailing. The first bug I ran into is a pretty annoying app crashing issue, especially with YouTube Studio. Every time I try to open certain features in the app, it just crashes. Instagram's been acting up too with occasional crashes when opening the app, so if you're using these apps regularly, you might want to hold off on updating for now. Another weird bug I noticed is with the folder background color. It randomly changes when closing folders. It's not a huge deal, but it's definitely noticeable. And some iPhone users have reported missing emojis. Check out this screenshot. Some emoji spots are completely blank. I haven't experienced this on my iPhone, but it's happening on other devices, so be on the lookout. Let's talk battery. After downloading the update and restarting my phone, I did see a 2-3% to drop in battery right away. But after that, no major drops in battery life. My battery health is sitting at 87%, and it hasn't taken a hit since the update, which is always good news. Performance has been pretty smooth overall. No major lag or slowdown so far. So should you download iOS 18.1 Beta 6? Well, if you don't mind the app crashes, especially with apps like YouTube Creator Studio, Instagram, or even the camera sometimes, it might be worth a try. But if you rely heavily on these apps, you may want to hold off for now. Let those bugs get squashed first. Oh, and for those wondering when the next updates are dropping, iOS 18.1 Beta 7 is set to release on October 14th, and the final RC or stable version of iOS 18.1 will be rolling out on October 28th. Just in time for Halloween. That's it for this update. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced any app crashing issues and which apps are causing problems. This will help everyone else decide whether they should download the update or not. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more iOS updates. Until next time, take care.